Analytica Tutorial Chapter 1 Using the Rent versus Buy Model Is it more cost effective to buy or rent? In this lesson, we'll tour the Rent versus Buy Model, an analytic model that compares the cost of renting a house to the cost of buying one. We'll open an existing model, use it to calculate results, change input values to calculate different results, and look at different ways to display uncertain values. I usually launch Analytica from the Windows Start menu. In this lesson, I'm following Chapter 1 of the Analytica tutorial. The tutorial is available in written form, which you can access from the Help menu. Watching this and other tutorial videos is a good way to develop a feeling for what awaits you when you start using Analytica, but there's no replacement for hands-on experience. Thus, I highly recommend that after you finish each video, you go back and follow the tutorial, performing the steps yourself. Now let's open the model. From the File menu, select Open Model, and in the top left corner, there's an icon that says Analytica Example Models. When you click that, it jumps to a folder containing several dozen example models, and in, we want the ones in Tutorial Models, and from there we want the Rent versus Buy model. So select that and open it. When you open a model, Analytica first displays a top-level diagram window. This diagram shows several input fields, two normal buttons, a calc button, and a node labeled Model. Across the top of the screen is a horizontal palette of buttons. This is called the Tools Palette. When you first open the Rent vs. Buy model, the Browse tool is highlighted on the palette. With the Browse tool selected, the cursor looks like a hand when it's over the diagram. The Browse tool allows you to calculate the model, change input values, examine but not change the structure of the model. If you wanted to change the model itself, you would need to enter Edit Mode or Arrow Mode. But for this lesson, we're only going to use Browse Mode. In this diagram, the result of interest is at the bottom, present value of buying and renting. I'm going to leave all the inputs alone for the moment and click the Calc button. This computes and displays the output value in a result window. There is uncertainty in both the cost of buying and renting, and so what we're seeing here is a probability density graph. The probability distribution for each quantity appears as a bell-shaped curve. The negative values on the x-axis denote cost, in other words, cash flowing out of my pocket. The positive values show where I might actually make a profit, which might happen if property values increased and I bought the house. The k on each number in the x-axis stands for thousand. Numerical suffixes like k and u are used extensively in Analytica. I find them to be nice when looking at very large or very small numbers. Now let's click on the diagram window to bring it back in focus. Notice that the calc button has now changed to say result. This indicates that the result is computed. So if I were to click it, it would just re-show me the computed value. Now let's change some of the input values and recompute the rent versus buy comparison. Let's change the time horizon to 7 and the monthly rent to 1400 and the buying price to $180,000. Notice that the result button has switched back to say calc. This indicates that the result needs to be recomputed. I'm going to push it and here we're seeing the recomputed result. Now it looks like the cost of renting is somewhere between 90 and 120,000 and the cost of buying is somewhere between about 135,000 up to where we'd actually make a profit of maybe 25,000. There's a very small probability, it looks like, that there might be a gain as high as 70,000. When an input is defined as a probability distribution, a button with the name of the distribution appears to the right of the input's name. So the button for rate of inflation says normal, indicating it's defined as a normal distribution. When you click on that button, the object finder opens, and this is a window that lets you look at the details of the distribution the parameters and change those as well. So right now it's saying it's a normal distribution with a mean of 3.5 and a standard deviation of 1.3. So I'm going to change that to be a uniform distribution where all the values between 3 and 4 are equally likely. Those units are in percent per year, so that's 3% per year to 4% per year, the way this model is designed. Now we'll recompute present value of buying versus renting and again we have the two curves and now you can see that the uncertainty in renting has substantially narrowed it looks like it's between about a hundred and five and hundred nine thousand dollars now there's several ways to look at uncertainty and we're going to explore several of those views up here at the top corner is the uncertainty view pop-up menu 
right now we have the probability density selected but I'm gonna go ahead and select cumulative density again we have the two curves the red is buying the blue is renting the vertical axis is the probability that the true value is less than whatever the value on the horizontal axis is. There's a 60% probability that the value for buying would be less than negative 60,000. Since negative means a cost, that means there's a 60% probability that the true cost would be more than $60,000. Sometimes you might want to see an uncertain value expressed as a single number. Analytica will compute the deterministic value or mid value by fixing all of the input probability distributions at their median value. So this computation is basically computing the values without any uncertainty. This is the only mode that doesn't take uncertainty into account in Analytica. Now under the uncertainty pop-up menu are these two other buttons, a table button and a graph button. The table button takes us to a table view. It's like a spreadsheet-like depiction where you can actually see the actual numeric values. We can look at the mean. That changes a little bit. This is the actual mean of the output, so it is computing the uncertainty all the way through. We can look at statistics, okay, standard deviation, and finally we can even look at the actual sample values. So here we're seeing a hundred randomly generated scenarios showing what the cost of renting and buying were in each scenario. So in this lesson we've seen how to find and open an analytical model, find the example models, calculate results, change input values and probability distributions, and visualize uncertainty in various ways. These are all basic techniques for using any quantitative model. Once again, I recommend that you try these steps yourself. You'll learn more by doing than by watching. When you create your own models, you might want to give them a top-level input-output panel like the one used in the buy versus rent model. For information on how to do that, look at Chapter 9 in the Analytica User Guide. In the next tutorial lesson, you'll navigate the details of the rent versus buy model and you'll see how it actually works. Thank you for watching.